What's up, everybody? Welcome to Alcoin Picks. This is Stefan, and we haven't been making videos for a little while. And I know I had some technical difficulties, and we were actually a little excited about some of those news that just came by, like the ETFs and the Coinbase possible listings. But aren't we just tired of predictions since the market hasn't really been cooperating? I know has Bitcoin has shown some signs of life, but when will our coins recover and this is what this video is going to be about it's going to be a really short video and i just want to show you guys what i found online so first let's take a look at this really great website called altamhighda.com and they pretty much list all the coins in altamheim i know i've shown a website similar to this but what i really like about this one is it just has a one click where you can see how far your coin is in percentage to all time high you just press right here and you're gonna realize that tether which pretty much doesn't move i don't even know when it did actually reach a dollar 22 cents but you're gonna see that right behind that it's binance coin and man what a coin this is such a killer if you actually go to binance and we take a look at what bnb it's doing and oh man bnb is such a great coin it the chart on the weekly you can just see that it has such great momentum i know it took a little beating right here but coins have to recover and correct anyway and it it has such always has such good volume so bnb it's always something that you should be looking into but ox wow i'm so surprised with ox it actually had a little coinbase possible listing and then it it just held its value and i know we were talking about ox when it was 15 cents last year and now look at it it's still holding up its value so well so take a look at this website i'll tell I really like it. It's just so easy to click. You can actually also click also the furthest from all time high and you're going to realize a Bitcoin diamond and all these forks from Bitcoin are just getting slaughtered. You can just go down and you're going to compare. I know Bitcoin Cash is still a favorite, but these forks are just killing. They're just killing people's portfolios whenever they try to trade it or buy it into it, thinking that they're going to be the next godsend, you know, altcoin. But let's take a look at why I think altcoins will recover very soon. So the first time Bitcoin hit that weedy low of six, around $6,000, it was around February 5th. And on February 5th, you can see that the dominance on Bit Bit Bitcoin was around 35%. So there was still a lot of volume in the market. The coins were still really pushed up uh, uh, quite high and Bitcoin dominance was at 36%. And the la the, this recent low was around June 28th. And in June 28th, you can see that it was already at 42% and the market has just been going lower and lower and the market cap has been holding on as it is now. And the dominance in Bitcoin is 48%. That means that the entire altcoin market is only trading about half of that value and then if you remove ethereum which is actually the most used coin for transactions out there you're gonna realize that all the altcoins are slaughtered and they're just going down so in synchrony together that in moments like these i would just recommend take a look at what bitcoin is doing what the market sentiment is and forget what your altcoins are doing because chances are if you make a trade and at these levels you're just gonna get hurt look at one chain and this is such a good coin i made a video about one chain and i actually i got laughed at because i did say i did separated a few bitcoin just to purchase one chain when they were going to hit twenty thousand sats and and look what happened it just kept going lower and lower and it did break that 20,000 sats. And when I just kept seeing it go down, I was just like, maybe maybe it's just not the right time to buy it yet. And look, it just kept going down. Now there's no support. So many altcoins have no support. Look at Nano. I mean, I know it got a really huge, you know, list, pump when it was listed, but everything, nothing has support right now. So chances are you, you can buy something and because the market is just behaving erratically and Bitcoin just doesn't really know exactly where it should stand, all the altcoins when it comes to sats they're just getting hammered so what would you do in moments like this have you noticed that there's a small pattern about how often coins will normally dip before they have a small recovery there isn't much that these coins will survive i mean some of them are so far from listing price but there's some out there that are actually below listing price and sats so those are the coins that you want to dollar cost average your way into if you really like the projects this is the time that all coins will show what is going to survive in this market because there's coins out there that had great future and we even talked about them on ico and i've invested in some of them and they just got destroyed but this is what you, you i would suggest you do is just take a look at what bitcoin is doing because whenever bitcoin is about to correct no matter if it's up or down it will just destroy all coins on sats so 
I would hold my ground, keep an eye on what Bitcoin is doing, and just take the time to analyze what your portfolio needs and not just panic sell because some of these recoveries are so fast sometimes that you just be surprised. You know, it's just the way the market behaves. That's it for this video, guys. I didn't want to make a prediction video. I just really talking about what I really feel is going to happen. Chances are altcoin season might be starting soon. It's, it's going to take a long time for these altcoins to show any signs of what they showed back in January. But some of these altcoins will not recover. This is the time to do your own research and figure out which ones will be the winners and just look at Bitcoin and some of these values because there is such an odd correlation right now because the dominance just keeps increasing and the market cap remains the same. So chances are this cannot be like this for so long. Maybe it's time to move some of those funds in Bitcoin and put it in all coins. But I will always say Bitcoin is king. You should always have a stash of Bitcoin and you guys take some of those safe trades out there and thank you guys for watching do like and subscribe we are going to be making some videos again we are me and john we're going to be making some videos together and some interviews with some of these ceos and we just got some exciting news coming up so um just stay tuned in and i'll see you guys next time